Hello folks, I didn't make a video last week because I was away at the caravan and I've just got back today. I did make a video at the caravan and a Charlie the bird is in it. If they, you, you, I'm going to put the video up just now but the day after I made the video at the caravan there was an accident and Charlie managed to get out and we haven't seen him since. So I know that uh, a lot of the subscribers on this channel won't be anywhere near the area that Charlie disappeared from. I chased him for quite a while. When I say chased him, I followed him for quite a while, but he went over the fields and we just couldn't find him again. So Charlie is missing and we're really, really worried about him. We don't know. We've searched everywhere. We've done everything we can. We've put our sites, pictures and sites up everywhere. But we, had to leave, but we had to leave the caravan today because my wife's got work tomorrow. So I'm probably going to go back in the next couple of days and look for him again. But we've lost him. So if anybody on the channel sees anything on social media sites about a lost Charlie, you'll see him in the upcoming video. He's then got please... one, one distinctive thing on him. He's got two yellow bits on his, his, his wings. They're yep. supposed to be white, but they're yeah. yellow on both sides. So if, you can, if anybody sees any posts on social media so the caravans between Pease Bay and Eyemouth uh so that's where that's where the, the, he ended it ended up but we could not find them we just could not find them so if anybody on this channel you know far and wide sees anything on social media please get in touch with me uh I would appreciate I'd appreciate that uh and I say I'm going to share the video I made which Charlie makes an appearance so thanks very much guys and I'll see you next. I'll, I'll, I'll go move on to the main video. Thank you. That's it, you Charlie, you pipe down. <laughs> Hello folks and welcome to the Movie Mad channel. You may see that I'm in a different location. I am at, uh, I was going to say my grand's caravan. But it's no longer my grand's caravan, is it? No, I'm thinking it's ours. Mm, no, no, it's not. But it's not my grand's any longer because she passed away. So we've kept it for, for this season. And... Been doing a lot. We always like to come down here for a couple of weeks in the summer, break up the summer holidays, and I've been doing a lot of things, swimming, arcade, things like that with my niece and my son, and this morning I went to swimming and I put on my Facebook a couple of pictures of where I, uh, where I was swimming, and Al Pearson, uh, Big P33 he is on here, his oars creaking. Uh, Big P33 on here, he has said to me, just remember to visit visit that shop. And I was like, oh yeah, I remember you saying that, saying that. And I was thinking, can you tell me where it is? And he did tell me where it was. And I was like, it's actually really close to where we go swimming. So I thought, you know what we'll do? I'll want to take the kids swimming. We'll just walk up and we'll have a look. And to... the caravan's creaking because it's windy. I was going to film this outside. But I just decided to slightly spit with rain uh, on there. So, as I was saying, I thought what we'll do is we'll go and take a wee look in that shop. And uh, it was a great wee shop. I had Blu-rays, console games, things like that. And at first, I picked up a couple and I took a couple. And they were a pound each, so, you know, fair play. That's a decent, decent thing. And then I had, like, six... And I was like, okay, that's not bad, that's decent, I'm decent right. And then when I went up to the counter, the lady goes, by the way, there's another room in the back there with Blu-rays in it, if you want to have a look. And I says, I don't mind if I do. So instead of coming out with six Blu-rays... It's came out with the hill shop. 24 Blu-rays I've came out with. And 
in my in my we'll start off with my mistakes okay so in my haste i, I, had, I had had the ones i bought and i just left it at the counter and i handed her the lady about another eight and i said can you just put them i'm going to take them but i'm still looking and in my haste i didn't realize i'd already picked up one copy of invention the lion now, i really enjoy this movie i cannot for the life of me remember if it's this or ghost town that i've got on blu-ray and the kids were i think they were acting up but they were like they were looking around the shop but i was distracted so i didn't really have time to look on my clz app to the birds have the birds have a wee sing on the birthday table over there uh oh my clz app to see if i had it so i thought for a pound why not just take it so i did and then clearly I really, I thought I've not picked it up and I put another one in the pile. So I've got so I've spent a grand total of twenty four pounds but I managed to pick up two inventions of lion which I don't need. I only needed the one. So that was a little bit of a mistake there. But Invention of Lion's a great a great a great film. And my son just reminded me a bit of it uh, because he's seen it as well with me. And he goes, That's the one where the guy carry uh, nobody in the world can lie and uh, he he's the first one to lie, and he goes up to the woman in the street and, and, say, and says, uh, "If we don't go and make love right now, it'll be the end of the world." And she goes, "Does it have time? Do we have time to get to the motel?" <laughs> oh, I thought it was funny. It was funny. So I picked up the, that one. That's a great movie. If I haven't got that on Blu-ray, that's excellent. If I have got it on Blu-ray, then I've made done myself out of two quid, which is probably about a, a million they will have spent on holiday for for kids activities. Uh, so uh, with they, I then seen this one, and I was like, I've not seen this before. Uh, never really on my radar, but for a pound, I'll take it. And it's Irvin Welsh in Ecstasy from the writer of Transposition, as we know, and it's got uh, that Billy Boyd in it from Lord of the Rings. And ecstasy is a twisted tale that incorporates the furic heights and the devastating laws of chemical romance. So there we go. So for a pound, I thought I'd take that. Next, a Ben Affleck film I never heard of, and again it was a pound. Thought, why not take it? Love by Night, self proclaimed anti establishment outlaw Joe Cullen isn't like the gangsters isn't like the gangster he refuses to work for. He has a sense of justice and an open heart. Oh, but he's still a gangster. Okay. So I thought that I'll take that one as well. So that's four. Well, three I'll definitely be keeping in my collection if I have not got Invention of Lion. Next. Now, the new one has just hit the cinema right now. And I've traded... This twister, twister, this this one here, Twister, it goes up and down like a yo-yo in value. And when I seen it for a pound, I had the sticker and already peeled them off because I went to check if it peeled off and it does. Uh, and it trades in for eight pounds. So for a pound, I thought I'll take that, get eight pound trading. But uh, I already sent a picture to Roy. And he said to me, he doesn't have this and he would like it, so he, the Twister's going to Roy. But for a pound, up to eight, that would be, that would be uh, great, but Roy's having this one. Next I found this one here, Blue Valentine, with Ryan Gosling and Michelle Williams. And I thought, mm, again, I was in a frenzy at that point. I was like, take that, take that. Just take that. And I, t and I took that one and it says, Blue Valentine is a true love story flooded with romantic memories of the courtship between Dean and Cindy. The tale is told in the past and present as they recall the episode that brought them together. Well, sometimes like that kind of thing. Well, for a pound, if I didn't like it, they can always get traded in. Or... See that? So I took that one. Next... I found this one, and this is a Region A title, and I don't have a Region 3 player, but I thought, you know, a lot of the Region A ones say they're Region A, and they actually are 
region three. I've got a blu-ray in the caravan, so I will pop this in and see if this is actually region three or not. And it's got uh, Olivia Wilde, Jake Johnson, Anna Kendrick, and Ron Livingston. That's the guy for the edition, is it not? Is that the bomb guy? I can't see properly. That's neither of them. There's a bomb guy. Is it the, the, the editions are the same part? It's neither of them. It is neither of them. Mm. But that's her fair house. Yeah, I know. It's eleven. Yeah, so for a pound again, I thought I'd take a risk on that one. Again, this time I'm not 100% sure if I have this in my collection or not because I couldn't look at the app. I may very well have it, but it's Tom Hanks in Castaway with Wilson. Good film. Trades in for £2, so I thought, you know, if I've got it, great. I can do, if I've got it, great, that's fine. I could just trade it in for 2 If I've not got it, then it gets added to the collection. Next, I have actually had this on my watch list for a while now, and I was like, great, because it's got one of my favourite actors in it, Ray Liotta. And it's been on my CEX watch list for ages, and it's about £4 in CEX, but it's never in my CEX, so that means you have to pay £3, so that brings it up to £7. So to get it for a pound was excellent, and that is Wild Hogs, with Tim Allen, Martin Lawrence. I thought, I thought really all was in this. No. Maybe it... Maybe it's not, but I did. I have had this on my watch list for absolutely ages, and I wanted to. I wanted to get it. It's sort of like a. I think it's like a motorbike city slickers, but I've not actually watched it yet. So to get that for a pound to add to the collection, that's great. Another uh, another one. I. Do not think I have on Blu-ray. And it's an ideal Christmas one. Is Bill Murray and Scrooged. So I do not think I've got that one. So that will be going into the collection. Classic A uh, Christmas Carol with Bill Murray in a more modern twist. Oh, I think, I, I I think it's really I think it's really funny. So I took that. Next, I thought this would be worth more to trade in. And that's why I picked it up. It is, I paid a pound for it. It's still it's still trading for two. But this is selling on eBay for £15-20 all day long. So I don't think I'm going to trade that in. I think I'm just going to put that on, this on eBay and recoup some of my spending back uh, from this. And that is Jodie Foster and Flight Plan. I was looking for this for the absolute long time. And actually, I'm pretty sure Martin sent it, uh, not Martin, Larry sent it to me. Or I bought it last time I was at the caravan. Because the blue, the, 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 actually it reminded me when I was here. Because we have to got a wee selection of movies at the caravan. And Flight Plan is one of them that's on DVD here. And I was like, why have I not got that on Blu-ray? But that one I'll, I'll probably put on eBay. It trades for like, you know, Flight Plan. I'll put that on there. And I can get recoup some of my money from my spending. Because I'm going to need it. School uniform month as well this month, isn't it? Uh, so, hi Charlie. Uh, so I started looking, uh, keep, kept looking through. I found this one, which is a great movie, and it's in the name of the father. Uh, and it, a petty Stephen Strife torn 70s Belfast after anger and IRA sent to England by his father where his antics land him in the wrong place and wrong time. This one will be staying in the collection. It trades for a good amount of twelve pound, but this one I do want to, I do want to, I do want to, do want to keep. I'll watch it. I'm ninety nine point nine percent sure this this will stay in the collection. But <coughs> easy, what is it? Easy, what is it? It's just your brother coming in. Hi, James. I'm fi I'm fil I'm filming my Blu-ray pickups in the caravan. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. I'm just gonna calm Daisy down. All right, she's fine. You just spilt all over Daisy's food. It was me. All right. It wasn't just like me. So as I was saying, in the name of the father, 
99 percent sure that this is staying in, staying in the collection. Yes, it will be in the collection. Yeah. Okay. No choice. I'm just going to grab my uh, grab my drink for a second. Oh. And guys, it's no tea. I know. It's, it's uh, well. I would have had a tea, but it's quite hot. Well, I feel quite hot. I should open the window. Well, that window's open. What? I know. It's a diet juice. Oh, right. So that one is definitely still in the collection. Next, I picked up Shazam. I haven't, I haven't got this. I have seen half of it and then I fell asleep. But That's again, it's a guy to chuck. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, for a pound, I thought that's a great, great, for a pound, can't you argue with that? A couple of years ago, that was 10 or 12 pounds. So I took that. Uh, next, I do have this one as well. Trades in for two, so it's just going to get traded in. Again, just to recoup some of my costs, because I've bought a couple on Amazon and things like that. I need to, and that so I'm saying, I'm a budget collector, I have to. Well, I spent £24 today. That's a lot for me to spend. So I've got to recoup some of that from Fight Plan and trading in and doing that to add the ones that I want to into my collection. So if you've got one for a pound and you're going to double it to a £2 voucher, The Triangle, which is actually a pretty decent movie, I'm pretty sure I've got this lenticular as well, uh, then I'm going to do that. So I got, I got that, got that one too. Next one, you would never, I would have never have thought that this would have been worth as much as it was in CX because we've got, I've got, I've got all of this. I don't think that was like that when I, uh, then I might have dropped that. You probably got that. I probably did. Uh, and it's the Transporter Trilogy, three film collection, Transporter 1, 2 and 3 and that trades in for a £10 so again. That's going to recoup my cost of that because I've got these movies already. Yeah, it's a nice, nice wee pack though, but for £10, that's well worth recouping. Next, we have a movie that I actually wanted to see. This, this is de another one that's definitely staying in my collection, which is Bonnie and Clyde with Warren Beatty and Fred Dunaway. I haven't seen it, but I've heard it. heard about it. It's also with Gene Hackman in it. So, again, for a pound. Definitely keeping that one in the collection. What a movie this is coming up with Kevin Spacey. I can't, this, is, this is the thing. Sometimes you search for movies for ages. I was searching for ages for this. And I ended up spending £8 on it. And then you find it in a, a shop for a pound two or three years later. So I'm just going to trade that in as well. Or I might, I think it's actually maybe out of print as well. So again, I might eBay this one. And it's American Beauty with Kevin Spacey. Annette Benning and who's the girl on it? The girl from American Pie. I forgot what her name is. Mina Savari. Savari, yeah. So that's a, that's another one that's an absolute great movie, but I could believe sitting there and it will get traded in as well. Movie that I enjoy isn't worth anything to trade in, but this is to add to my collection anyway, and it is. The Number Station with John Cusack. I actually really enjoy this one. Sort of my type of movie. And I'm 99% sure I don't have it on Blu-ray. But again, I'm going to have to wait till I get back home. Or I get a better signal to look at my app. So, again, taking these small risks with the pounds. Uh, on there. Original Planet of the Apes. I knew that this traded in for a little bit. I think it's £5 it trades in for. I've got the original Planet of the Apes in a nice set, so again, that one can that one can yeah, get traded, and it's probably quite high in value because Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes is out at the moment. But the movie that started it all, I'm a Charlton Heston fan, especially when he sees, you know at the end, what, what he sees on the beach, so yeah, everybody knows. Another movie, I waited for ages to find on Blu-ray, absolutely ages, found it, paid a decent amount for it, and then you find it for a pound. But again, it can get traded in to offset the uh, collection. And that is Bruce Almighty, where Morgan Freeman is God and he leaves Bruce in charge because Bruce doesn't think he's doing a good job. And Bruce mucks it all up, doesn't he? 
Then, my wife likes this series. I don't know if I've got it on Blu-ray. Do you want me to test my one see? No, it's okay. We I'm don't... positive I've got the first three seasons. On Blu-ray though. Very possible. But if it's not on Blu-ray, then this one will be staying in the collection. Probably right, you will. If it is on Blu-ray, if it is and on... I need some caffeine, I really do. The tired me out with swimming, that's what it is. And I've gone down the flume try to beat the record. And you know, with my size, I should beat the record because, you know, the way it helps. Uh, look, at my, look at my injuries, my flume injury. Give them a big, get a big, the world's smallest violin, people. That's not very nice, is it? But you want sympathy, you don't get the sympathy. A wee tiny bruise like that. It hurts. <laughs> what are you barking at, Daisy? It's just your brother. Uh, so as I was saying, if this isn't in my collection, <laughs> it will be going in there. If it is, and again it trades for £2. <laughs> <laughs> and he's in shop. Charlie's new favourite place to go on Dad's head. Charlie likes to visit me occasionally. Uh, so, as, uh, and we brought him to the caravan too, as you can see. So... Moving on. <laughs> can I do this with part of my head? <laughs> okay, I probably can. Uh, so the next uh, one is one that doesn't have a UK Blu-ray, I don't believe, and that is The Hurricane with Denzel Washington. I haven't seen this and I always wanted to. So I'm glad I've got it. But it does say, again, it is not, it doesn't say whether it's region free or not. So I think, you know, my next port a call would maybe to get a blu-ray player that i can you know a cheap one i can maybe try and modify to region free so if i muck it up it isn't so bad so but we'll try this in the regular blu-ray player to see if it works before we do that got jacks too <laughs> well, you just do it. Come and sit beside you. so there we go and then next i've got american graffiti I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think this is his type, my type of film, film, American Graffiti, but I'm going to watch it before I trade it, because, well, so that's not fair, right, I'm going to watch it, if it's a good, if it's a good movie, then I won't trade it, and the one that I want to watch, but if it isn't, it'll go and it'll go for, it'll go for a trade, it says, rediscover drag racing, driving's an inspiration from the early 60s. With the uh, the guy for Ron Howard, the guy for Happy's, and now a director. This is the very I think this is the very first one I spotted in the shop, and I don't th again I don't think this has got a UK Blu-ray. This one luckily says it's region free, and that is Robert Redford and Kirsten Scott Thomas. Again, Kirsten Scott Thomas in the Horse Whisperer. I haven't seen this movie, but I have good got movie. I haven't got it back. Yes, yeah, so I mean, books I heard bit, books amazing, but the books, the film's good. I, I thought that that would be pretty good, so I took that too. And I actually didn't get through all the movies in the shop, so I don't know. I'll probably be going back before we oh, leave. Oh, so almost a guarantee you'll be going back between the day and the morning, between the morning and Thursday. Friday. I will be leaving Friday. We'll still day something, but then ain't leave in the morning, do we? Because the, 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 then I've got still got Saturday, Sunday off. I'm only back in work for a couple of days and then I'm off again. So I'm going to enjoy that. And the last one I got, which trades in for £10, it's an excellent film. And if I didn't have it in my collection, it wouldn't be, it would, it would be, it would be, it would be staying, but I already got it. And that is Mercury Rising with Bruce Willis. So he's looking after an autistic kid. That cracks a secret code that nobody should be able to crack, and they murder his parents and try to murder him because of it. And Bruce Willis is his own, only detective friend, who I'm just thinking, you know the girl in this. Yes, I, I've seen it. I recognise her playing an older role and old. And what did I recognise her from? Is it a picture of her there? No, there's no picture of the girl. She, I don't, I don't think he, she got. She was only in it for a little bit, and I don't think she got wide screen bullying. I'm just trying to remember what her name is. Oh, 
not 100 percent sure so that is my blu-ray haul from the shop the al pearson big p33 40 down to me so thank you very much for letting me know about that one i always enjoy my holiday but now i enjoy my holiday even more with a night <laughs> with a nice with a nice blu-ray pickup pickup score and uh, I, and uh, I will try and get. I'm going to try and try and do this in a nice camera with Charlie on my head, and say thank you for watching. Have you ever got any comments on any of the movies? Then please let me know. I probably won't be able to upload this till I get back, so you'll probably be seeing this on Friday after trading them all in anyway. Well, the ones that I'm going to trade, the ones that are going to go into my collection, will stay there. So I'm going to leave you. I'm going to move out of the way. The bird table's over there. Charlie, go look at the birds over there. That's it. <laughs> and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. I'll leave you with a view that we like to look out at the caravan when it's nice and sunny. My favourite view of the caravan. Well, I like the view out here too. So I, might, yeah, I, I, prefer, I prefer watching windmills. I like the windmills, but the the, windmills. I like the bird table as well. Especially because there's a wee bird on it right now. There's a wee bird here, right here as well, after all, as well, but there you go. Maybe he's actually facing forward. Yeah, but I do like the views. So, catch you next time, guys. Goodbye.